All right, so this is the experimental setup that we need for activity three. And what we have here is a microphone, uh, a string, and that passes through a pulley, which as we will assume it's a frictionless pulley. And at the end of the string, there is a mass that's hanging and uh, it is a hundred gram mass. And uh, so the microphone here is connected to a, an amplifier and the amplifier is connected to the computer here. So at the uh, earphone outlet for the computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate a signal of some specific frequency here on the computer and that signal goes to the amplifier and then into uh, the microphone. So the microphone is gonna move up and down and basically we create a wave on this string and that wave it can bounce back between these two ink and uh, as a result uh, uh, of uh, the interference between the uh, traveling and the reflected wave, you would see uh, what we call a formation of standing waves. Now let's set the frequency to 11 hertz and watch carefully what's going on in here. Observe carefully what's happening on this string. All right, so I'm gonna stop this. Okay, I have changed the frequency from 11 hertz to 22 hertz and see what's going on on the stream for this frequency. So observe carefully uh, the points on the string where you see almost zero displacement from the equilibrium position and maximum displacement, okay? Now, I have changed the frequency to 33 hertz, which is three times the original frequency, which was 11 hertz. So, and watch carefully again what's going on on the string. Okay, the last one that I'm going to show you is when the frequency is 44 hertz, which is four times the initial frequency, four times 11 hertz. And watch carefully again what's going on on the string. So just watch carefully, you know, uh, these points, this point, this point, here, and here. So one, two, three, uh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and here, so if you look at the maximum displacement, you see one, two, three, four.